I should really try a new one. So steady improvements. And we're very far along on our next generation low cost vehicle. In an ambitious effort to redefine the future landscape of electric vehicles, Tesla's gearing up for what CEO Elon Musk has described as a challenging production ramp up for a mass market electric vehicle. Codenamed Redwood, this next generation affordable EV is slated to enter production in late 2025 at Tesla's Gigafactory, Texas, signaling a significant leap forward in creating sustainable transportation accessible to a wider audience. How insane would this next generation model make the EV market? Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. More and more details are emerging about the upcoming Tesla Model 2 compact crossover. And not only that, it has a breakthrough low price that could really bring the brand synonymous with electric vehicles to the masses. According to billionaire Elon Musk, Tesla's next-generation affordable electric car is scheduled to appear in late 2025, possibly even in the second half of 2025. Although what he said was uncertain when denying the existence of this model in the Q4 2023 financial results meeting. However, it seems like everyone knows that this is what it takes for Tesla to write a whole new chapter in the electric vehicle industry. This will create a new wave of competition among electric vehicle manufacturers around the world to create affordable models to serve the human needs and carry out the global electrification mission. Some questions from the position of people interested in this model car are, who is going to be the strongest competitor of Tesla's Model 2? This seems to be a survey question to find out the advantages that this new generation model brings to help it beat all competitors in its segment. Tesla's announcement of this affordable model also marks the beginning of the official competition and we have seen that there are many new models with competitive prices that are ambitious to exceed the $25,000 price tag we expect for a crossover. All right, for Tesla's product line, if version 1.0 is the low volume, expensive and luxurious Model S and 2.0 is the high volume, lower cost Model 3 and Model Y for everybody, then 3.0 could be considered the next generation of vehicles. Extremely large volume that could allow Tesla to eclipse the production of automakers like Volkswagen, or BYD of China. In addition, a competitor ahead of Texas with a low-cost Chevy Bolt sold by General Motors with a starting price of $27,000, surprisingly, the sales of this car in 2023 only reached over 62,000 units. However, Mary Barra has announced plans to end production of the Bolt hatchback and Bolt EUV SUV. Moreover, the Chevy Bolt never seems to be a challenge for Tesla cars. The Bolt has a bad reputation for catching fire or exploding even when parked, and its overall performance is even far behind Tesla's Model 3 or even the upcoming Model 2. In reality, there's no competition because GM simply cannot achieve the same performance or production cost as Tesla. We doubt that even if GM was willing to lose a significant amount of money on each car, possibly more than $10,000, Tesla would still sell more than them at a ratio of perhaps 10 to 1. With that number, GM would also not benefit from economies of scale like Tesla. Moreover, as GM becomes more aware of what Tesla will be able to produce and at what cost, they'll scale back production of this model and focus on incorporating more of Tesla's technology into the next generation version that will be produced in 2026 through 2028. In addition, General Motors has announced updated pricing for the Chevrolet Equinox EV, with a base model of the crossover starting at $34,995. This is significantly higher than GM's previous promise of a $30,000 base variant. GM's confirmation of the Equinox EV's pricing comes amid some promising moves in the lower end of the electric vehicle market for Tesla and the Model 2 Redwood. As automakers race to create more affordable electric vehicles, Ford has also turned heads when its CEO Jim Farley revealed in an earnings call that a secretive skunk words team has been working on a low-cost EV platform since 2022. In late 2023, we also got some exciting news about Volkswagen's new concept car, the ID2 All, which is priced around $27,000. This car is built on the new MEB entry platform and has a WLTP range of up to 280 miles. You see, Volkswagen of America reported that in fourth quarter 2023, its sales in the US were only 96,486 units, with the Volkswagen ID4 accounting for about 11% of total sales. So, why does Model 2 confidently surpass all competitors on the market? 
Tesla has notified its suppliers of plans to start production of a new electric vehicle for the mass market, codenamed Redwood, a compact crossover. This is not the first time we've heard rumors that this is just a smaller Model Y. The next-generation Tesla architecture, known internally as NV9X, is said to include at least two models. Tesla's overall plan suggests there will be unlimited demand for the cheaper car, with their fleet expected to match all other models combined. One of the reasons Tesla's growth rate in 2024 could be significantly lower than the growth rate achieved in 2023 is because Tesla's teams are working on the launch of this next-generation vehicle at Gigafactory Texas. At the same time, Tesla sent requests for quotes or bids for the Redwood model to suppliers in 2023 and forecast a monthly production volume of 40,000 vehicles. Sources also revealed that Tesla also disassembled a $23,950 Honda Civic in the U.S. to study methods of producing more affordable cars. The plan, which Elon Musk has been incubating for a long time, has received so much attention from fans that most of the questions around the financial reporting day were about this new generation model. Elon Musk has said that the new technology will cut production costs in half and introduce a new groundbreaking car assembly method. Sure, the head of the electric car maker has a tendency to exaggerate, but it doesn't come out of nowhere. Tesla has achieved some of the highest margins in the automotive business, thanks in part to its pioneering manufacturing process that legacy automakers are starting to adopt. For example, Tesla's use of gigacasting to produce large body parts from single pieces of aluminum has significantly reduced the number of parts needed for a car's basic structure. This is now getting attention from giants like Toyota. For a long time, Tesla has wanted to go even lower than the Model 3 and Model Y to create a truly affordable electric car for everybody. A vehicle that would likely share or use a platform with a fully autonomous robo-taxi as Elon Musk has requested. There's a lot to speculate on here, but there's also a lot to unpack. We know that affordability is one of the biggest barriers to electric vehicle adoption right now, and outside of Chinese automakers, no one has really been able to create a truly great sub-$30,000 electric car without taking a hit on profits. We also know that from Walter Isaacson's biography and Musk's own repeated statements that Tesla wants to go after even higher volumes than it currently does and they've been considering a $25,000 car with Cybertruck-like visual cues for years now. Musk has also said that this car could be produced in Texas, though many speculate that a factory in Mexico is also being planned. According to Isaacson's book, Musk was resistant to investing resources in the $25,000 car, saying he wanted the team to focus on a vehicle that didn't need pedals or a steering wheel until they convinced him to build both cars on the same platform and assembly line. In the U.S. market today, Tesla seems to be the automaker best position to produce at such a scale, and if it can succeed, it's because it's a game changer for the industry. How could Elon Musk's direct revelations about Model 2 production plans change your mind? In the fourth quarter 2023 earnings call, Elon Musk talked about the plans for the next generation vehicle. Tesla really needs to reduce the production cost of its vehicles, which requires them to look at not only component costs, but also the packaging used to bring materials into the production line. They're also being scrutinized to optimize a few cents of savings in auxiliary production line components. Tesla confirmed that they are working on the next generation platform at the Master Plan 3 analyst event, but details were scarce. It seems Tesla's been guilty of underpromising on next generation vehicle details and financial performance. In the earnings call last month, Musk again avoided specifics about the vehicle, saying the event was an earnings call, not a product announcement. But he went on to say that the company's very excited not only about the next generation vehicle itself, but also how they've designed the manufacturing process. It's a revolutionary manufacturing system that's much more advanced than any other car manufacturing system in the world. A few years ago, we said that perhaps Tesla's most important competitive advantage in the future would be its manufacturing technology. And you really see that come to fruition with the next generation vehicles. Previously, Tesla broke ground on the Giga Mexico project, and it is clear that the plan has been specifically drawn up. According to Elon Musk, Tesla expects to start production of the Model 2 in 2025. This affordable electric car will be produced at the Gigafactory Texas plant and could be expanded to the Gigafactory Mexico plant when it completes construction in late 2025 and starts operating thereafter. As a result, we believe that the ability to supply the Model 2 in large quantities can only start in 2026. The target price for the Model 2 is $25,000, promising to be highly competitive in the affordable electric vehicle segment. 
The Model 2 will be built on Tesla's next-generation electric vehicle platform, offering impressive performance and range. However, the price does not seem to be what everyone expects. It's similar to previous Tesla models like the Cybertruck, which was expected to have a starting price of $39,000, but the lowest variant of this electric pickup truck has a price tag of up to over $60,000, and it's not even on sale at this point in 2024. Most things work like that. The initial estimated price will not be able to meet expectations as what the manufacturer has announced. There's no official word on how much the car will cost, but it's expected that the new electric car will be priced around $25,000 and must be under $30,000. The Model 3 is Tesla's lowest cost electric vehicle and was originally planned to be a mass market vehicle priced around $30,000. The cheaper version of the Model 3 starts at around $39,000 and the all-wheel drive longer range version starts close to $47,000. Overall, vehicles have become much more expensive as more safety and entertainment features get added and the average vehicle price in the US hovers around $48,000. In addition, Tesla has also considered a different path by shifting labor over to India, where labor costs are several times lower than China while still ensuring a large labor pool to help significantly reduce the cost of electric vehicle production. In terms of design, the Model 2 is said to be a five-seater, user-friendly, and easy to use. It could also be equipped with Tesla's fully autonomous driving technology, something that Elon Musk has always focused on developing throughout his career. Tesla and Elon Musk's dream is to one day have self-driving vehicles on the road, capable of taking people anywhere without the need for a human driver to navigate. This would significantly reduce transportation costs. Musk has compared his company to Waymo and believes that Tesla will be profitable with vehicle autonomy while Waymo will not. The reason he mentions this is because Waymo has driverless cars in small locations but cannot scale globally. There are different timelines for self-driving cars. Some say we will have self-driving cars in just a few years. Others think it'll be much longer. However, for self-driving vehicles to be ready by 2025, that means Tesla's FSD version 12 or possibly 13 at that time will need to show drives without disconnecting or human intervention most of the time. That's when the Model 2 comes to market, not only with 98% automation, but it needs to be 99.99%. It must be clear and complete that a Tesla Model 2 can drive itself at all times, to the point where regulators have no choice but to allow it. For 2025 to become a reality, there really needs to be exponential improvements in Tesla's FSD software, which will then use nothing but the Dojo neural network. With information revealed, the Model 2 promises to be a very potential electric vehicle of Tesla, contributing to the popularity of electric vehicles globally. However, it should be noted that the above information may change depending on the time and actual situation of Tesla. To update the latest information about the production plan of Model 2, you should follow Tesla's official channel. How does Tesla's manufacturing technology affect the Model 2 production schedule? New insights into Tesla's manufacturing improvements have surfaced, indicating the automaker is not only on the verge of achieving but actively implementing groundbreaking advancements in its gigacasting technology. The revelations show that Tesla's successful application of an upgraded gigacasting process at Giga Shanghai focuses primarily on the Model Y's rear underbody assembly system. This demonstrates Tesla's commitment to unibody manufacturing and its progress towards revolutionizing car production. The upgraded gigacasting technology allows for the casting of nearly the entire complex electric vehicle underbody into a single piece, significantly reducing the cost of manufacturing and assembling components. According to new information, the application of this integrated die-casting technology has reportedly reduced relevant manufacturing costs by a significant 40% and saved over 10% weight compared to the traditional method. These advancements are particularly relevant as Tesla explores manufacturing possibilities for its upcoming $25,000 car, presenting an ideal opportunity to deploy this single-piece casting innovation. Tesla's pioneering approach involving 3D printing, industrial sand, and the development of specialized alloys is further refined with the introduction of version 2.0 of the integrated die casting technology. The combination of rapid prototyping, material innovation, and advanced casting techniques underscores Tesla's relentless pursuit of manufacturing excellence, setting the stage for large-scale production. The strategic shift and technological advancement align with insights shared in Walter Isaacson's biography of Elon Musk, which describes the transformation underway within Tesla's centers of operation. The Giga Texas facility emerges as a focal point for the development and refinement of this next-generation EV platform. 
What is the Model 2's potential compared to its predecessors? With a target price of only $25,000, the Model 2 will become Tesla's most affordable electric vehicle on the market. This will allow Tesla to reach a wider range of potential customers, especially middle-income earners, when combined with the current excellent tax incentives. Possessing outstanding advantages in both performance and price, Model 2 possesses great potential to become Tesla's most successful electric model, helping the manufacturer increase sales in the EV market by more than 50% in 2026. This model promises to contribute to promoting the popularity of electric vehicles globally and moving towards a green transportation future. In addition, the new generation model will help strengthen the brand awareness that Tesla has built. However, before achieving that, Tesla needs to address the challenges when comparing the Model 2 to other car models, solve battery self-sufficiency issues, and improve that charging infrastructure. Yet we can continuously see that they're not just talking, but putting their plans into action every day. As Tesla continues to build its supercharger network with plans to expand and build the world's largest supercharger station, ready to set a new standard for electric vehicle charging infrastructure. Tesla's plans also hint at the potential development of a nearby solar farm, as indicated by the site map showing a maintenance gate and designated area. While this aspect is still being confirmed, it shows Tesla's broader vision of integrating renewable energy into its supercharger network. What performance do you want to own a Model 2 with? And is this a product worth investing in? We hope this vehicle provided you with a sense of relaxation. If it resonated with you, kindly show your support by liking the video and joining the Tesla Car World family through subscribing to our channel. Be sure you don't miss out on any of our fantastic content by hitting that bell icon. Your feedback and time are immensely appreciated. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy life.